With nine wins in their last 11 games, the Red Hot Red Sox have run right past the Rangers, opening up a seven-game lead over the team from Texas. And as the boys from Boston have emerged as kings of the wild card, well, it's been their aces that have been dealing. Sox starter 6-1 with a 1.77 ERA during Boston's recent run. John Lester trying to continue that trend. Well, this won't help. Bottom of the first, Matt Wieters with an RBI. One zip O's Lester. Not nearly as sharp as we're accustomed to seeing. Bottom of the second, he allows a home run to Ty Wigginton. We're tied 2-2 through two. Still 2-2. Bottom four, Melvin Batsamora. Home run for him. Lester allows 10 hits. That's a ton for him. Three earned runs. He leaves after five, trailing 3-2. So much for our good Sox starting pitching. Boston, however, well, they can still hit. Top six, Mike Lowell with an RBI. That ties us at three. We go to the seventh, Kevin Euclid gives the Sox their first lead. Drops one in the left center, 4-3 Boston. Same frame, this is J.D. Drew. A little soft fly, but a hard run will score. Dustin Pedroia has the Sox in front, 5-3. And uh, more for Mike Lowell. Huge night for him, a three for four, two ribbies. It's now 7-3 Boston. And, well, the Red Sox, they just flat out go nuts in the eighth. J.D. Drew again, a two-run homer into the corner in left. That's his 21st. He was three for five with four ribbies. The Sox O explodes for eight runs in the seventh and the eighth. The O's, meanwhile, well, they club two homers in the ninth. They try to get back in it. Down 11-5, one out. Base is loaded. Ramon Ramirez, though, rolls Weeders into the 4-6-3. That'll end it. Bit hairy there at the end. Good thing the Sox had a big cushion, especially since Lester wasn't sharp. He gets a no decision. J.D. Drew, Mike Lowell, they combine for six hits and six ribbies. 11-5 is your final.